black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Yo, what up world? Back with a banger for you today. Kind of on the healthier tip a little bit, but definitely super excited for this one. Uh, Greek chicken souvlaki. So I have the chicken skewer. Thought it was gonna come with more than one. Kind of bummed on that, but rice and potatoes uh, and a Greek salad, some pita bread. So we got the souvlaki dinner lined up, ready to ride. And a uh, little dressing on the side for that. And of course, tzatziki. Why didn't I get extra? Already kicking myself. And you guys know me, I always stay strapped with my own side sauces. So we got Dirty Diana. A Dirty Diana. And of course, the uh, Cali Classic. We got the crystal on deck so i'm so excited to get to this i'm very very hungry i haven't eaten in like 36 hours and uh we'll tell you the story of the float tank experience which i never followed up with after that because i got re-sick after it but uh more than like relaxing or anything spiritual it was more or less just a lot of comedy to me so i'll let you know about that but let's get into this so first up gotta dress the salad address the dressing of the salad nice 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 I like it super wet very simple vinaigrette I think it's like a red wine vinaigrette and the tzatziki so so crucial so important Oh, I'm gonna snap on this right now. Oh my God. So, this is the move right here. What you gotta do is wet that thang up with a nice creamy load. X-rated shit. Get yourself a chunk of lettuce, maybe a chunk of tomato and a cuke piece of chicken and you know what well rice bay that didn't work at all but tried to rice bay rice too sticky though you do that you load her up into a nice little bite and then what you do is you slather it with a final spread and you go hard hard on that Mmm. No. No way. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Oh my god. That ladies and gentlemen. That is what dreams are made of. Oh my God. Oh my God. Thank you so much. Thanks so much. Shout out to you, bro. Or sis, I don't know. But shout out. Holy shit. This place is proper. Never ordered from here before. All right, let's tell you guys the story. So a while back, you saw you might have saw the video. If you haven't seen the video, go, go check it out. It's on my channel sensory deprivation tank so what a sensory deprivation tank is essentially is uh you float in epsom salt in complete darkness and you are deprived of your senses so it's supposed to recreate like being in the mother's womb essentially so it's supposed to give you that kind of you know still feeling and you can like trip out or whatever have some spiritual moments i gotta get some feta in this time and uh you know it's really like relaxing and good for the body and shit like that. Very holistic, natural, all these nice things, right? So, I had never done it, I did it. So here's how this goes. To me, this shit was hilarious. Also, if you've never fucked with Diana sauce, you have to fuck with Diana sauce. It's so, so good.
full savage. So, okay. So, because I wanted to document the experience, I was like, you know, I'm going to be respectful, call ahead, and be like, may I film in your establishment? Because I don't want to just roll up to like, a tr tranquil environment and just like kill the vibe, you know what I mean? With this devil technology. So I'm trying to call ahead. I don't get through the first time. I get a call back from the dude. The dude on the other end sounds like he smoked about 50,000 blunts and done eight hits of acid and is in outer space. Guy can barely speak. He's like, I see you called. Do you have concerns for your appointment? I'm like, no, man, I'm just like, I'm a YouTuber and I kind of want to document this experience. It's my first time floating. I'd really like to document it. And, you know, but I don't want to be intrusive. And he's like, oh, okay, cool, man, cool. And then he like kind of just went silent. I was like, so like, is it a problem? Can I do it? He's like, well, we could facilitate that activity. And I'm like, that's not like a yes or a no. Like, you know, just work with me here a little bit. Uh, he just kept saying stuff that made it all like more confusing. But it sounded like he was down, like he was like, okay with it. So I was like, cool, man. I'll see you in 45 minutes. So some people smoke weed for the experience. Uh, I myself, to kind of get you in, in, the, in the mind state, more relaxed and things like that. So I myself don't partake in marijuana, even though you guys think I'm a huge stoner. I'm not. Um, I like alcohol and alcohol gets you in a nice relaxed chill state so I hammer back a few drinks sue me so I crush a few drinks I'm a little buzz the place is literally across from my condo so I go, I hop, skip, and a jump over. I vlog in it. And I roll up. I got the camera out. And the dude at the front desk receiving, uh, he kind of like got like sketched out at the camera and I like kind of just put it off to the side. I'm like, hey man, I just like called you. I'm here for the for my appointment and I'm like, you know, talking in a regular tone and everything. And this guy, he's like, let me paint this guy for you. He's like 110 pounds, uh, really skinny, bony white guy. He's probably about 22. He's got a fucking do-rag on, a black do-rag and like this long white t-shirt. And he's like, looks as if like I said, smoked about 10,000 blunts. And you can barely like look me in the eye. Now I have two couple theories on that. It's either 
he was just so fucking high that he couldn't, you know, you know that awkward, you know when you're too high and like you're just overthinking everything in your head and you think people are like judging you and things like that. Either he was just that high, permafried, or he's like floated so hard that he's had a transcendent breakthrough and smoked DMT in the fucking t- uh, unit and like he's transcended reality because this guy looked and was acting like not a human. So I'm trying to communicate with him and he's like not informing me of like what's about to happen. But because I've never been, I feel as if, no, I feel as if, but I didn't know how to conduct myself. I would later learn that you're supposed to just walk in and take yourself to like the tea room, like the Zen room, like the waiting room where all like the ambient tones are playing. And there's like, you know, there's like free, like, chai tea and these couches and it's very chill very nice i like i mean i enjoyed it but i didn't know how to conduct myself so already i come in with this devil technology and he's like huh i'm from outer space like i've been there man and then and then and i'm like speaking loudly and i just don't know the, the thing and i'm like fucking with this guy's vibe heavy so I'm like, he's like, just wait over there. So I, okay, I'm like, okay, cool. So I wait, I go on this couch and there's all this trippy shit. There's like, like Alex Gray, like the, the, you know, the all seeing eyes and all these crazy drawings. And there's like these like, uh, like bowls that you can, what are they called? When you get like the, the sound going on the bowls and, uh, like I said, tea and all this stuff and I'm sitting there. And I'm just kind of like laughing to myself, but I'm trying to get in the zone. And uh, these other people come in, and it's these other dudes come in, and they just come in and they sit down and they conduct themselves properly. So already this guy like hates me. Everybody else is acting right. So he's waiting for my room to finish up so he can, like, usher me into the room. I'm leaning back on his couch. He comes and, like, summons me. He's just like, it is your turn now. I get up off the couch. I don't know why, but this day I had about eight pounds of change in my pocket. Change spills out of my pocket fucking everywhere. I'm like half buzzed because I had some drinks. I got this like my rigged up camera and just a a fucking waterfall of change comes out of my, my pants. So now I'm sitting there, like I'm bent over, picking up all this change. He's like waiting for me being like, this guy's a fucking tool bag. Why is he here? I hate him. takes me down the hall, shows me around, gives me some light instructions, and the whole time, this guy can, like, not look me in the eye. It's just, like, some awkward, like, autistic energy, like, if I can say it, like, that's it. So we have our awkward autistic exchange. And I get in the room, I get in my, in my room. So I get in the room, there's the tank, this little like seat, and then like the shower. And I'm like, okay, cool. This is, this is a vibe. Uh, I'm just kind of look around, get my bearings about me. And so I have my shower, get prepared. And you know what? I was, you know, I, I like places that take the measures to like give you a nice little bot and, you know, nice body soaps and things like that. So this place did that properly. It had nice like body soaps, all that shit. And, uh, on the side, on the bench was like earplugs and something else. And in my head, I'm like, fuck do I need those for? Whatever. I'm just going to get in. So I get in and 
it's so this like really salty water so i didn't account for um it being like slippery so i basically i step in and as soon as i step my first step just whoo, i look like harry uh, on the icy steps in home alone just whoo, whole like thing shakes i guarantee the, the dude in the next chamber in the next room definitely heard me i interrupted his you know outer space zen that he was probably achieving enlightenment and i ruined it so i just take the hugest bail i'm like oh my god ow so i'm like sliding around i'm like hey get into position so i get into position Ooh wee, that looks fire. Maybe some rice on there too. Oh yeah. So I settle in. And you're trying to find center. You keep floating around and keep hitting the edges. That was a problem for me. I'm trying to find center. And trying to relax trying to chill and get used to it all but i immediately realized fuck i need the earplugs my ears are just filling with water and i can like hear things that i don't want to be hearing you know what i mean so i'm like all right need the earplugs Get up, get the earplugs. Get in, put them in, settle in. Get in there, get in there. Everything's good. Now I'm floating. I'm floating. I'm trying to clear my mind, all that stuff. One thing I do realize is that you don't really realize how much you like have to let go of your muscles. And this is on a serious note. If you do the experience, there's like relaxing your body and then there's letting your body completely go. Like you don't realize how often you're holding tension. So I'm trying to release, release, release because the water's holding you up. Eventually, I figured out how to how to completely release without feeling like I was engaging any muscles. So at that point, at that point, it felt pretty enjoyable. But for me, like I couldn't get into a complete like my head to shut up because. The main thing I was thinking the whole time is how funny the fucking dude at the counter was. So I'm in there, I'm laughing out loud as this floating consciousness in complete darkness. I can't really hear myself. I can only hear like my heart beat and that's barely. And I can just feel like this like kind of warmth. But I'm existing as this like bodiless floating being sort of feeling and just laughing my ass off alone in this dark echo chamber about how fucking fried the dude was and the fact that I just bailed, right? So in the midst of this, I'm not, here, here's a don't do if you do it. I get an itch right here. So I go, I scratch my face. The The water is completely filled with salt. Of course, I get salt in my eye. So now I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, in the dark, floating around, bumping these walls. I'm like, fuck, I'm like, I'm trying to like bear it. I'm like, all right, can't, gotta go, gotta go to the shower, gotta deal with this. I get up, stumble my way over, and pop out of the thing. 
turn on the shower i'm just like you know like fucking science class like uh you know like those eye washers so i'm like science class eye washer guy trying to like get it out it's so painful finally get it sorted out jesus christ don't know my own strength uh sort it out <laughs> i'm like okay i still have like 35 minutes left like let me get back in this tank and, and like get to intergalactic consciousness like that's what i want to happen here get back in get settled in this time i'm vibing things are going good all of a sudden because of the the way that the building is or like the systems are set up and everything like that there's there's like clearly like some pumps and things to to run and operate these things so in my tank all of a sudden this pump kicks on and it's like vibrating it's like a vibrational tone it's like so part of me is like i can tell that's like a pump that's like an electric pump but in my head i was also like maybe this place is like mad events and they're like they give you they provide you like some vibrational humming tones to like really lock you in and get you in like that right zone <laughs> so i'm trying to like use this tone to my advantage i'm like maybe this will be like like a hypnotic meditative tone so i'm like all right i can do this jesus christ come on now so i'm using the tone From there, I just floated out. Nothing crazy happens, like in terms of you know any sort of visuals or anything like that. It's just dark and relaxing. So do that. Get out. I hit a shower after. I was so drained, like my body, like just because you take the weight off your body, you just feel like your body is in a complete, like your muscles are completely relaxed. So I felt so like heavy. And so, get clothes, get my shit, and I head out and I go to leave, and I just, I'm like, I gotta talk to this space case about the tone. Was it on purpose? Or was it a mechanical thing? And maybe if it was mechanical, they should probably know about it because that's kind of ruining the customer experience, right? So I go up to the guy. I'm like, I'm like, that was a really cool experience, man. Like, and whatever, whatever. And then I was like, but at a certain point, there was like this constant vibrational tone that sounded like a like a like a heat pump or something vibrating through through the unit through the machine and i'm like is it possible that that was like a pump or or do you guys like play these tones for people to like you know transcend and blast off and he's like he's like no no tones we don't do any of that I'm like, okay, then, well, then it might have been like a, like, a, like a heat pump and that might be an issue for some people floating. And he's like, in that room, we've never had anyone say anything like that. We've never had any complaints uh, regarding any sort of uh, mechanical tones. And he's like, he goes, I shit you not, he goes, what it sounds like to me is that you really tapped into yourself and really experienced some, you know, you took a journey and really, really got in the zone and really experienced something pretty profound there. And I was like, no, dude, <laughs> that's a fucking pump. And you guys need to fix that shit. I didn't say this to him, but in my head, I'm like, no, I didn't. I didn't transcend. I barely even got cozy. I fucking little do you know 
I was naked, took a bail, fucking got salt in my eyes, had to science class, get earplugs, get back and try to relax the whole time thinking about how ridiculous you are as a human being, <laughs> though I love you, but it's just like, you're, you're out of control. <laughs> you're on a whole nother level. <laughs> So this guy thinks I transcended myself. Meanwhile, I'm sure it was just like some like mechanical pump to heat the water to the temperature of your body. I left. My friend owns a bar across the street. I hop over there. I get more drinks. And just start telling the dude he he was bartending there. He owns it, but he works like he he's just like the owner operator. And I told him about the experience, and I just had like these guys like there's like four people at the bar just had them fucking howling about it. The entire time I was in there, the only thing I could think is like this whole experience is a stand-up comedy bit. That's the only thing I could think. I couldn't relax, like, you know what I mean? It was just so comical. Everything about it was so comical. So I'd like to try it again. Maybe in a... Now that I know what to expect and I can actually just, like, <clears throat> conduct myself appropriately and accordingly, I think it would be a better experience. It's just that time I was just stumbling through the new beginnings of doing it so now I wouldn't make the same mistakes and things of that nature so I do suggest trying it though like it is cool but for me it was just very 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 funny like such an entertaining experience to me well, hope you guys enjoyed that one. Till the next one, you know what you gotta do. You gotta eat good, live well, stay true.